Hi, Capricorn. Welcome. So, Capricorn, this is going to be your you versus them reading. I'm going to go back and forth between you and the person you may be connecting with. Keep in mind that it's a general reading, so the roles may be reversed. Feel free to flip them if you need to. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So, Capricorn, the overall uh, crowning energy between you and the person you may be connecting with. Let's start there. And you have Scorpio energy here for some of you. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or have that in your birth chart. Or it's just, like I said, the crowning energy. So this energy talks about intensity, passion, transformative, uh, changeable energy, but also very deep, okay? Very deep emotional energy. Um, sometimes this can be a little bit destructive or a little bit obsessive, but um, it all depends on how you're focusing yourself within this. So let's see what your overall energy is then, Capricorn, and then this person. So your overall energy. Woo. So you have the Nine of Pentacles and then the Ace of Pentacles flew out over there, which is all about... My cards are crazy. Okay, which is all about being comfortable, right? Being self-sufficient, not really needing anyone else. So it's almost like this. If you're in a relationship right now, right, or you're wanting love in your life, it's like you want it because you want it, but not because you need it, right? So I don't feel like this neediness coming from you at all, Capricorn. I feel like this is more on... Yeah, I desire it, but I don't need it to sustain myself type of vibe. Now, this person has the Knight of Cups. So this is a much more emotional energy than what I'm feeling coming from your end. Um, some of you certainly could be dealing with the water sign, but it doesn't have to be. It just is that this person might be in this space of their life right now where they're really needing to get more in tune with their emotions or they just might be... Uh, a more emotional person in general than you, uh, Capricorn, even if they don't necessarily exude that in the same ways that you do. So, um, and for some reason, I'm getting an image of the book, um, The Five Love Languages. So you might have a different love language than this person. Um, or maybe you like that book or something about love languages. All right. So let's see what your recent past energy is. Capricorn, queen of wands, two of swords, and the nine of wands. So there might've been some things that you felt were preventing you from kind of following your passions, following your desires. But I feel like mostly what it was at the end of the day, Capricorn was your own internal dialogue about the situation. Um, you're showing up, at least in the past, as being a bit guarded, right? Uh, maybe having your walls up a little bit, even if you weren't really consciously aware of this, just by learned behaviors. Um, you know, we have learned thinking over time. And if you don't pay really good attention to your thought processes, it's easy to think the same or similar thoughts on a day to day basis about life, about ourselves, about others. Um, <clears throat> so I'm getting that those types of things might have been standing in your way. Um, even though it may have felt like it was things external from you that was preventing you from attaining like your passions. It really always does begin internally, right? So there's a sense of like knowing what you want and wanting, some of you really wanting like this passion in your life and then getting all in your head about it at the same time and then therefore creating barriers where there doesn't need to be barriers, Capricorn. So Let's see um, this person's uh, past energy, what led up to the now, the hangman. There also might be something going on right now where like it once thrilled you or like you really, you know, was excited about something or someone and then like all the juice ran out, like all the excitement, all the thrill. And it doesn't have to be related to this connection, although some of you, yes. 
It could also be related to, though, like projects that you've started or or things that, you know, was really enticing at first. And then it was just like, eh, you know, not really feeling it anymore. So I'm getting something about that coming through. And I feel this could be more than likely your energy. But because it's a general reading, it could also be this person's. All right. So the hangman, the hierophant, the ten of swords, and the two of swords. Wow. So this person may have been through some painful endings in relationships in their past. And I actually got the word past lives, which I don't really talk about too much. But um, there could even be like past life wounding showing up. Um, we do carry our vibration through eternity, which means through life after life, right? Um, through life and death. But <laughs> it's just like, I'm not going to go way too deep into that right now in a love reading, but I, I just feel like this person carries this energy around with them and it has to deal with like commitments and relationships, but it's a long standing belief. They may have a long standing belief that like relationships always end in pain or that they cannot trust or, you know, it's fear based energy and I'm not really sure where they picked this up but they've picked it up along their journey somehow and it may have made it difficult for this person to be vulnerable or in tune with their emotional self even though i feel like this person is a very emotional person and then i'm also getting they were taught out of their emotions so some of them were taught out of trusting their own emotional responses all right so let's see what the perception is um of this connection in the current energy six of swords the empress <clears throat> where's your head at capricorn let's see the three of pentacles so capricorn there's this okay i'm happy to see that you're kind of moving out of this guarded energy into this more loving peaceful space of time right where you are being more cooperative and therefore other people or this person may respond in a cooperative manner. So I, I'm happy to see that here. Um, but I feel like some of you, it's easy to let yourself get sucked back into your own stinking thinking if you're not very careful about it. But this may be a time frame where you're kind of actually letting bygones be bygones or letting things go. And this is hoping to like bring you back into this more peaceful state of mind where you're understanding also the connectivity between you and everybody in your life and everything that you experience. Some of you really getting back in touch with, you know, mother nature or your true nature, which is love and well-being and feeling more comfortable in your skin and more comfortable in your environment or at least wanting that, you know? Um, I just keep hearing co-creation at its best. So some of you have kind of pulled yourself out of this lower level energy and have successfully or will be successfully going into this more abundant energy. So let's see, person you're connecting with, what is their perception? Nine of Cups, the Emperor. I only wanted one more card and I got two, the Seven of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. So. I have the song Taking Care of Business in my head. <laughs> Taking care of business every day. Taking care of business. I don't know who that's for. That could be you. That could be them. Whatever. <laughs> Take it if it resonates, even if it doesn't. Some of y'all are taking care of business. Okay, so um, this person. Okay, so yes, they have had. 
all right, long-standing struggles here, but in the current energy where they're currently at right now, I do feel like this person feeling more in control of themselves than they have in the past, more empowered. Um, they may have put some work into themselves or some work into uh, projects that are important to them or if nothing else, their stability, okay? Um, I feel like this person has been taking care of business and or they need to take care of business, but I actually feel them going into this more responsible energy. I don't want to say that they were irresponsible in the past, but maybe, but it just seems like this is a very mature approach or them uh, being more responsible for their part in things, right? And I think it's stemming from like this person wanting to feel like that they are happy, that they're coming out on top. They want to feel successful. Um, they want more satisfaction in their life. Um, yeah. When it comes to how they see you, Capricorn, they may um, feel like they get a lot of satisfaction out of the connection, that they're willing to put in the time and work, that they want a firmer foundation, okay? Or maybe they want to take care of business. I don't know. All right, so <laughs> let's see what the what's going on underneath all of that in the heart space then, Capricorn. And let's see what else we have. Heart space. Nine of Cups. The Hangman. <laughs> and... Four of Wands, Four of Cups. Really interesting here. So, oh, sorry. Wow, that came out of nowhere. Okay. Um, <laughs> in your emotional space, I do feel like you're getting some sort of success or recognition during this time frame. Okay. Um, because you have two cards of celebrating or celebrations or feeling good. If nothing else, just feeling good. Wow. Wow. Isn't that a celebration all of its own, right? It's like seeing life from a new vantage point, getting excited about your future, um, feeling connected to all that is. I keep getting a message about that, feeling connected to other people or this person for some of you. And, and yet it's like at the same time, you could take it or leave it. <laughs> it's, like, it's like this energy of like, yes, I want that. That sounds fun. That sounds delicious, but I could take it or leave it. You know, like some of you have really truly found out how to be happy just by yourself. And there is no greater space of empowerment than doing that right there. Because if you can be happy by yourself, then everybody else and everything else is just a compliment to that, but not a necessity for you to feel good. The most the most we suffer in our lives is when we have the flawed belief that our happiness is in anything or anyone that is external from us. They certainly could be vessels for us to flow our happy, loving energy towards, but you should never make anything external from you responsible for you being able to feel good. Because then you're at the mercy of all of those external things or people that you have no control over, which disempowers you. So the most empowering thing you can do for yourself, and I feel like a lot of you have already done this, is to understand that you can feel good no matter what and practice feeling good no matter what. Practice, I'm hearing practice makes perfect. Now, some of y'all, even if you're in a connection, you have learned this, okay? Or you are in the process of learning this, especially if you clicked on this reading, that I get to feel good no matter what. And therefore, you kind of, lose your toxic attachments to anything external from you and other people. So it's like, what am I, I'm hearing in it for the fun, not the long run. Okay. So there <laughs> Capricorn, the message is to also view relationships from a more playful light type of uh, mentality that you're in it for the fun. You're in it for the journey, but, uh, not necessarily the long run, or maybe it will be the long run, but you can't count on that, okay? So they want you to count uh, on the fun along the way and make it about that. 
This is such an interesting reading. <laughs> All right, so let's see um, what's going on in this person's heart. What's going on in their emotions underneath it all? Capricorn, person that they are connecting with. You have the Sun card. The King of Pentacles. Okay, I have a Maroon 5 song coming in my head. It says, I'm playing on you tonight. you animals okay take it or leave it king of cups and the wheel of fortune so this person on an emotional level capricorn they really do want happiness to feel grounded to feel stable um emotionally financially within the connection just in general whatever take it as it resonates I feel like this person feels lucky. They feel, honestly, whether you're with this person or not, I honestly feel they feel lucky to have met you, feel lucky to have you in their life, feel lucky in general. I feel it's more so about you because this is a you versus them reading, but it could just be that just in general, they're getting lucky or they're feeling lucky. But I just feel like they, they may have felt the opposite of that in the past uh unlucky unlucky in love unlucky in life this actually pushed this person to get to know themselves on a deeper level which is part of their spiritual journey now they're coming into this state of being more either responsible or more empowered and they feel blessed they feel lucky I mean, that's awesome. I don't know if I've ever really gotten that message from this card combination, but that's the only message I'm getting is they feel lucky. And I feel it's about you, but take it as it resonates. All right, so let's see what the <laughs> most likely future outcome then is based on free will, which means you can change it, but we'll see what a snapshot looks like. Four of Pentacles, Two of Wands. Oh, okay, I see what's happening here. Um, wow, got a whole storybook here. Yeah. So I, before the cards even came out, I kind of felt the energy around the reading. So it's a sense of like, some of y'all have gotten so good at being self-sufficient that you maybe prefer it that way, or maybe even have trouble letting people in. And maybe you do this unintentionally because again, when we start getting learned thoughts that we think on a daily repetitive basis, if you're not paying close attention to your thoughts, then you may be repeatedly thinking things that no longer serve you, that are no longer true, or actually carrying uh, baggage that um, you've developed habits around. So they're saying pay closer attention to what you're giving thought to and the types of thoughts and how good or bad they feel to you and get get better at that Capricorn because some of you, yeah, you're doing great. You've learned uh, maybe how to stand on your own feet or be self-sufficient and you're taking better care of yourself and things are working. But also it may, because of that, it may also have you so in that energy that you may view that you may actually push away love. <laughs> isn't that funny? I mean, not funny, but isn't that interesting, I should say? I guess that could be a double-edged sword, can't it? So something to think about, right? Something to think about here, Capricorn. Because I feel like sometimes you do want to shut down. Okay. Um, and and yet, it's like, you know that you want to look towards the future. You want to get excited about the future. And you get yourself in that space. And then you start thinking, but I'm comfortable here. You know, and what if it 
doesn't go well and what if this and what if that and so be careful it's it's good to feel safe with ourselves right in our relationship with ourselves but don't be scared of allowing anyone in or change to come in for fear that it'll take you out of your alignment or out of your sense of security because the universe one is always going to keep delivering to you new experiences and change it's just why you're here but also um, it's trying to expand you not shrink you but expand you so some of you are preventing some sort of expansion here <clears throat> by being just a little bit too closed off and so they're wanting you to open up a little bit more and think more broadly about life but also about this person this connection relationships in general and um, I heard keep your eyes on the prize I have that song in my head again baby I'm playing on you tonight don't mind me terrible singing <laughs> animals animals I don't know <laughs> Um, all right, let's see this person's future energy. Hmm. Mm -hmm. This person's future energy. Maybe. Hello. Okay. Temperance. <clears throat> Page of Cups. I thought I saw a card flip. Did you guys see that? I guess not. Page of Cups. <clears throat> Knight of Swords. One more. So, Capricorn. Seven of Cups and the Twin Flame Soulmate card. The Lovers. So... Capricorn, I feel like this person, there's a lot of passion that is showing up in this person's energy. Again, a lot of emotional, a lot of passionate energy, even though I feel like they may have had trouble getting in tune with that or showing that, or maybe they have a different love language than you, all right? But I feel like this person, they want to give, right? I feel to the connection, but it could just be relationships in general that they want to give to. But um, they've had okay. They've had other options. Like they have other options. Um, Cause we got I have a song coming through. We got options, but I wanna let you know that I've decided. Um. I just feel like this person wasn't without choices, wasn't without options, but I feel them very strongly knowing, you know, out of all of that, out of everything they've been through, what it is that they are actually wanting. And for a lot of you, it is the connection. However, I feel like you may be inadvertently uh, pushing this away. Some of you, this is a new person that wants to come through, but you are not quite yet ready vibrationally. And it's not that it's not ever going to come through, but, um, the timing needs to be right. Right. So, and how do you make the timing right? You get really present and grateful for where you're at right now and open to the idea of love and vulnerability. Okay. Um, others of you, this is an existing connection where, the, you know, this person has been through something that kind of made them feel unlucky um, or definitely shaped their beliefs around relationships, but not really healthy beliefs. Now, as this person has grown, they have become more responsible. Um, and overall, I feel like right now, at least, they feel very lucky uh, in life in general, or just like I said, lucky for having you or I'm hearing lucky to have found you for some of you. And initially, there might have been some confusions or choices that they needed to make, but I do feel like this person wanting to communicate, you know, um, or open up or be more passionate, okay, as we move into September and October. And they definitely feel a very strong uh, 
connection here with you. So let's see what the guidance is then for you, Capricorn. Guidance for Capricorn. You have hope and choices. <laughs> Didn't I just say they had choices and they got the card of choices? And then you have love. So let me read theirs first. Theirs says, when you accept no way. This is almost verbatim what I just said. I don't mean to be extra, but like really? Come on. It's, first of all, the card is called choices. And I just got done saying this person has choices. It says, when you accept responsibility which is what I felt on this person's side. When you accept responsibility for your life and the choices you make, you will tap into the power of your spirit. You'll be able to listen to and appreciate the intuitive wisdom that's inside of you and apply it to your outside world. And they also have the card of hope, which is a reminder to them that whether they're in a difficult situation or struggling, there's always hope. And then your card says love. Love is the foundation of your existence and you're just as worthy of receiving love as you are of giving love. Isn't that what I said? Some of y'all, the only holdout is you. You might be so used to being the way that you are or the self-sufficient Capricorn that you are that you unintentionally hold yourself away from being a receiver of all of the beautiful things that you give so freely. So you're deserving of receiving love as well as giving, okay? And it also says, while love can be a beautiful emotion, it is equally a form of energy, and that energy will propel you through life. <laughs> wow. Great reading, Capricorn. I love this for you. Um, zodiac signs that you could be connecting with or have in your own birth chart. I have Scorpio here. I have Aries, Gemini, Pisces, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries again, Taurus again. Um, could be another Capricorn, Sagittarius, Taurus again. Those are the predominant signs that I'm seeing, but it's a general reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it did resonate, do let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to give me a like, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet. Um, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram as well. I'm doing a live full moon event Friday night at 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, for a small fee, you can join me and get a group collective reading, but I'll also be answering and pulling cards for a few people out of the chat. So if you want an opportunity to ask your question or chat with me, make sure you purchase a ticket. You can do that on my Facebook link down in the description box below. Um, and otherwise, I'm wishing you guys the very, very best. So until next time, my friends, namaste.